Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Y'all, I'm here with a vision. In this vision, which is so interesting. Um, <laughs> because of what it's about. But anyways, um, in my vision, I saw me, okay, sitting in my chair, recording a video, and basically using the gift that God gave me. And then I heard a voice speak saying, there's no gift. <laughs> The scripture comes from Isaiah 45. This is what the Lord says to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of, to subdue the nations before him and strip the kings of their armor, to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. Baby, so this is for somebody. There's somebody. There's somebody that believes with their whole chest, with their heart, with every being in their body. That God did not choose you. That you are not chosen by God. That God did not call your name. That God did not want you to do as you are doing. That God did not want you to be called. And God is not using you. And it is impossible. And it is nonsense. And you don't know what you're talking about. And da, 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 da. God said, God said, God said. I will go before you and will level, level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. For some of you, I think, um, you know, the dangerous thing about this is, for some of you, this may be someone you respect. So it could be very well someone... Um, that inspired you it may be someone you see as a mentor and you know um regardless if it was somebody that made a video and they were talking about um they were talking about uh false like they they made you feel as though you were not a true prophet they made you feel as though you weren't truly called by god they made you feel as though you are um, not anointed by God, like you weren't called to be a pastor, you weren't called to, uh, you, you weren't called to come out and spread the good news. So first of all, let me clarify something. We are all called to go out and spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Every person that is a Christian, God wants you to go and, and testify and tell the good news, t testify of the good things God has done in your life. Like everybody is not a prophet. This is true, but at the same time, it is not a situation where there are certain people that are just supposed to be quiet and not say nothing, especially when God does something beautiful and God does something beautiful in their life and God does something good in their life. It is nothing wrong with someone spreading the good news of Christ. Like, um, we saw this in the, what is the name of the show? The Chosen. When Jesus went to people, it wasn't a situation where he told specific people, no, you sh no, don't tell. He would tell people, don't say it was me. He would tell people, don't send nobody my way because he already knew what was going on. But it's not a situation where you are not supposed to go and show the glory of God. God wants all the glory. He wants all the glory. He wants all the praise. So, you know, and when it comes to, I, I just feel like when it comes to a false prophet, a false prophet is someone that is spreading lies, that is spreading something that is not the word of God, that is spreading something that is not true. This would be like someone going around and saying that they're like, instead of heaven and hell, we are reincarnated. Okay, that will be a false prophet. That will be someone that is telling a lie. It will be someone that is going around saying, no, it's nothing wrong with adultery. If you want to take a thousand wives, it's okay. God doesn't care. This will be a false prophet because the Bible clearly states that adultery is a sin. It will be someone going about and saying that it is okay 
to go out every night and fornicate. This would be a, a false prophet. This was somebody giving a false prophecy because the Bible clearly states that fornication is a sin. Somebody going out and saying that it's okay to take stuff that doesn't belong to you. That is a false prophecy. God says, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. These are like, these are scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like, um, for whoever you are, you are feeling as though you are not worthy of spreading the good news of God. And that is just simply not true. You are feeling as though you are, um, it's like somebody has made you feel as though you're not good enough to do what God told you you were you destined to do. And, you know, when it comes down to prophets, it's not just one. And, you know, I've noticed that there are so many people that feel like they should be the only one and it should only be them and their friends. And that's it. God is not going to come and consult nobody about who he going to choose, when he going to choose them and how he is going to use them. He going to do what he please, period. He going to use who he wants to, period. Period. And it's not nobody can come and try to check him about that. You cannot check God about what he going to do. You can't check God about who he going to use. And you not you can't check God about when he going to use them. This is not a situation where it's just going to be one or two prophets. There was not a time even in the Bible where it was just one or two prophets. And God will use the child because God was using Daniel when he was a child and uh that Jeremiah and like God is going to use whoever he wants to it don't matter their age it don't matter what they look like it don't matter where they live it don't matter where they come from he is not concerned God called David to be king and he was a little boy sitting outside being a shepherd to the sheep God is not concerned with your background God not concerned with what you used to do where you used to live what you used to who you used to hang with and all that stuff the these are things that are man made man made these are things that man is concerned with these are things that man is worried about these are things that and in reality everybody not gonna like everybody and that's okay but guess what thou shalt not touch my anointed and thou shalt do my prophets no harm what happened to the girl that was messing with david when he was glorifying god through the streets like i'm just saying like when you try to come against somebody that god called and you try, especially to this extent, God is, God said that when heaven, in heaven, in heaven, when one of his sheep get lost, he goes out and he collects them. So if he has went out and collected you and pulled you back and you have went out and you're telling everybody, God found me, God found me. I love God. I love God. God found me. And then here comes somebody that act like they want a God sheep because one of God sheep wouldn't do something like this. And they're coming up to you telling you, no, you can't be one of God's sheep because in order for you to be one of God's sheep, you need to look this way and you need to talk like this and you need to do this and you need to do that. And then you're like, okay, well, let me go back to where I was at. This is not a situation where God is going to be jumping up for joy because his bully sheep has just bullied the sheep that he went out and he collected and found and they sent them back to where they came from because that's what they felt like they just had to do. They couldn't sleep peacefully at night until they did that. Baby. Uh-uh. God said he is going to bless you for his name's sake. And it's not just for other people to see. So that they can realize and they can peep that God really called you. But it is for also your sake because God does not want to have to collect you from where he pulled you from. He does not want to have to go back out there and get you because he did not send you there. He didn't want you there and he didn't want you there in the first place. He went and collected you from there in the fire. He threw a party when you came back. Why would he want you to go back? And why would he allow anybody to send you back? Whoever this person is that making you feel that way, baby, they are under the judgment of God. They are under God's wrath because it's not right what they did. It's not right what they saying. And I, I just feel like there are so many people that use this um, scripture of false prophets and they use it to bully and harass other people. And it's a difference between calling somebody out for doing wrong and doing evil and you shouldn't do that and you shouldn't do that. That's one thing. That, and it's a, a complete different thing to say that you just feel like they are just pure evil and they're wicked and they're this, that, and the third. And, oh, I can't stand them because this, that, and the third. Like, come on now. 
Come on now. It's it's a difference between somebody actually having a Jezebel spirit inside of them and you just don't like them because they're pretty and they can dress. Let's let's be real. Okay, that's me. Okay, and I, I just feel like it's bullying. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that is bullying. This is bullying. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying this to hurt nobody feelings, but in reality, I feel like this is for somebody. There was somebody that made you feel as though you were confused when God called you. They made you feel as if God made a mistake when he came and got you out of the pit that he found you in. And the, he, they made you feel as if the, you made a mistake by turning away from your life of sin and coming towards God. And, you know, uh, who wants to... Who wants to be a part of a group where there are people that are literally bullying and harassing and being mean and nasty to their teammates? What sense does that make? This is like being going for war, which we are against the evil, against the uh, kingdom of darkness. We are constantly at war against the kingdom of darkness. And there are people allegedly fighting for God's kingdom that are turning to their teammates and shooting arrows at them. Not only do you have to worry about the other team, but you got to worry about your own. That don't make sense. It's ridiculous. God said he's seeking judgment upon anybody that feel the need to go against their own teammates. Shame on you. Anywho, for whoever this is for, where somebody was going against you, they supposed to be on your team, and they turned and they decided they gonna go against you. God said He is gonna bless you for His name's sake, and it's not just for other people to know about. It's not just because other people are watching. It's not just because other people are concerned with how you feel about God and how God like. It, I just feel like you are getting it's to a point to where you're feeling like, does God even love me? Why are all the people being mean to me? What did I do? Let me go back. God said, no, he don't want you going back. He, he has you where he wants you. You are exactly where he wants you. He, he has pulled you out of there. No, he don't want you going back to doing evil. No, he don't want you going back to living a wicked life. No, he doesn't want you going back to doing all the like no god said no 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 he gonna bless you for his name's sake so that you will understand so that you will know in your heart that god did to call you yeah he called you yeah he wanted you to do exactly as you were doing yes he wanted you to go about to the people anybody that will listen and tell them that they should repent and turn away from their sins and live their life for jesus christ yes you are doing exactly as he said and that's the message. God said, you are not doing anything wrong. You are not doing anything wrong. And, you know, just like I said, it's nothing wrong with, um, it's a difference between someone that is truly uh, teaching false teachings. Okay. And there are some people doing it. They are saying that God is okay with man sleeping with man and woman sleeping with woman. And that is not true. We already know it's not true because it's in the Bible. So I'm not saying that there are not people out there that are giving false teachings, but this is somebody you are not giving false teachings. You are not speaking from a place where um, you are just making stuff up. You are speaking. You are literally doing as God instructed you to. And there are people that are attacking you and you are doing what God asked you to do. And they know they're wrong. And that's the message. 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 And I just, like I said, that I just feel like they just attacking you and attacking you and attacking you. You're not doing nothing like what they're talking about. You are not acting nowhere near the way they are talking. And, you know, it's like we already know the, 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 it, it just, it just gets out of, I just feel like it's just out of hand and out of order. So, you know, and we already know how the, the, there are, there's such thing as mean girls and there's such thing as bullies in this world. And, um, this is somebody that you are dealing with someone that is bullying you. They bully. This is a bully. And they like something that you have or they want something that you have or they mad about the way you look. They mad about the way you dress. They mad about this. They mad about that. They mad about this. They mad about that. And they picking on you. God did not. They picking on you. They picking on you. And God does not 
want you turning back to living the way you used to live because this person don't like you because of the way you look. God made you that way. They don't like you because how dare you have eyes like that and how dare your lips look that way and how dare your face structure be. That's crazy. God made you exactly the way you are. He knows that you're pretty, but that does not mean that it is okay for other people to come and bully you and make you feel like how dare you exist. It's nonsense. God said he is going to bless you and it's not for them. It's for you because he does love you and he does want you to sit and do exactly as he told you to. He wants you to go out and tell people that he is the true king. He wants you to go out and tell people of how he blesses his children, how he loves his children and how they should turn away from their sin and repent. Carry on doing as God instructed you to. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuce.